done fell in love with your eyes. I done fell in love, love. I done fell in love with your eyes. I done fell in love with your eyes. What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kiara, but I go by Keeks. Keeks on the B, Keeks with the Cheeks, Kiwi, whichever one is fine with me. Today, I am doing this fi. This install was fat, y'all. The ba It was the baby hairs for me. So I'm pretty sure that's why I have for y'all right here. Basically, I'm going to be doing the exact same situation that I always do for my installs. But in this video, I will do an up close of all the products that I'm going to be using. Yeah, we're just going to start off with the Butterfly Growth Oil. I like to go ahead and moisturize my hair before I add the wigs. So the next step, I always, always, always go in with some alcohol. Anytime you are doing an install, I would recommend you go in with some alcohol and just pretty much sweep the canvas to make sure it's rid of all the dirts and oils and makeup and all that extra stuff. And then I go in with my Erica J Skin Guard, which is always a good, I always talk about this product. So you guys could just click on her website and see the reviews and see the, what the product does and all that good stuff. Cause I, I quite frankly, I say it every single time. So I'm pretty sure y'all know the gist. If you're new here, then you just gotta go to my other videos. Moving on to the ear tabs. Someone mentioned that they need help cutting their ear tabs. So what I like to do, I like to just part out the hair that I know is gonna be cut and I like to separate it from the hair that's not gonna be cut and that gives you a clear map of your ear if the lace is transparent enough. So I start at the front and I just create like a guideline with my razor and then I just follow my natural arch of my ear and that's how I'm able to get a really good cut. Then I'm gonna go in my Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive and as you guys can see, I stay as far away from my edges as possible. I don't think I ever even touched my edges this time. But that's the goal. If you're not going to use a cap, don't touch your edges. You need to be far away from your edges as possible. And also, I do want to say this. like Caps for me are not a necessity. Like I only do caps when I'm doing like colored in color hair installs or installs that I know I'm going to wear for a very, very, very long time. Otherwise, I don't really see the benefits of me using a cap other than like me protecting my edges. But... I, I get to the point where I don't even touch my edges when I apply my glue, so I, I just feel like I can skip out on that step and save a lot of time. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go in with that glue, make sure it is smooth completely. That is the key to getting your glue to dry on a consistent basis. Cause if you have some spots that are real clumpy and white, it's not gonna dry as quick as the stuff that's already smoothed out. So make sure you go in and smooth out the glue and that will definitely help, you know, with the drying process and you won't have as many white spots that you gotta wait on to dry and all the extra stuff that we don't even need to be waiting on, so. A lot of you have asked about wax sticks, and I personally like to use Erica J's wax stick. Like, I'm telling you, her whole line is just the shit, honestly. Like, ever since I've been hip to her stuff when she first came out with it, that's all I've been using. So I can't even tell y'all other wax sticks that I um, prefer to use because I haven't been using any. But I am going to venture out and find some other good products because your girl be sold out, man. She be sold out. Y'all just got to catch her. And she got like a, a surplus amount of orders since the um, Arrogant Tay video. So I'm sure she a little tied up. So I'm going to do my little research. I'm going to get it together for y'all. I might even drop my own little product. Hint, hint. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, just go in. Cut that lace. Make sure you don't cut yourself because that's very possible. Um, you want to take your time on this step and make sure you're not cutting a straight line because that does not give natural vibes. So, yeah. And then any, um, you know, any excess lace that hasn't been 
glued down you could go ahead and fix that but we working on not even have to do this step y'all so when y'all practicing this please 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 try and practice with getting all of the hair and everything that you want to be adhered to the glue down the first time so we do so we only have to do this step then i'm gonna go in with some um some powder and i'm basically tinting the lace just a little bit and I know it still look light. I know it still look light. But y'all y'all just got to trust the process. Because later on, y'all going to be like, damn. Because that's how it was. That's exactly how it was. But yeah, I'm about to section out my baby hairs. I'm going to use my hot comb to hot comb them forward. And a lot of y'all been asking about this hot comb, y'all. I'm, I'm going to have to go to that beauty supply that I got it from. Because I got it from a beauty supply. So I don't have a link to it. I'm going to just have to go to that beauty supply. Take a picture of it and post it to my community tabs. And hopefully that helps y'all because I don't know where I could find this uh, hot comb online. It is a very good hot comb. It gets really hot. And then it has like a little bevel at the, like it has a little curve built into it. So like you could really get in there. I'm a fan of y'all. I get y'all. Give me like, give me like two days. Two days from this video. I'm going to go in the beauty supply and I'm going to post it for y'all. So check the community tab in two days. If if I don't do it in two days, y'all have, y'all have every right to get on my ass. So yeah, hold me accountable. But yeah. Next step, tie your hair down. Make sure it's laying. If you have a blow dryer at home, you can go on dry it for like a good 10 to 20 minutes. That'll provide extra security and help your glue dry and cure faster. If not, you could just take a blow dryer and blow dry your hairline and you can get the same results. I really didn't have like too much direction with it. I just know curly hair be fat. Hold on, hold on. Here you go, right here, y'all. Fuck. Woo. Stop playing. That's my scalp. That is my scalp. That is my scalp. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the curly hair. Yeah, I don't when I when I wear curly hair, I normally like to do like side parts and stuff. But this time I didn't want to do like a defined side part because this hair was just big as it was big as hell and it was giving very natural hair vibes. So I just wanted everything about the install to be natural, except the baby hairs. Because once I started doing the baby hairs, y'all, like just me experimenting and just keep swooping, like I got some real dramatic baby hairs. Some of y'all might like them, some of y'all might not. But I wasn't feeling them at first, and then they started growing on me. They were cute as hell. So I did like real dramatic swoops this time around and then i go in with some got to be glue the got to be glue is good if you want your baby hairs to stay for a very long time otherwise i would suggest go ahead use like a holding spray or foam but the got to be glue once you use this and you form your baby hairs and all that stuff and the gel dries that's it that's it you can't really do too much after that and it stays for a little bit so yeah the baby hairs it was just like me experimenting i just played around with some swoops and my people liked it so i was just like i'm gonna keep that so i'm honestly kind of proud of these little baby hairs like if you know me and you've been subscribed to my channel you know baby hairs are a struggle like i be having whole panic attacks meltdowns all type of thing when i do my baby hairs but i'm getting better at them i still struggle with them at this point i'm finessing these but these turned out pretty cute and it was it was appropriate for the look because this hair this hair was beautiful but i need to go ahead and eat this company up real quick at the end so i'm gonna save all my little praises for later after i eat the ass up then i'll talk about how cute it is okay
right let's talk about the hair because it's beautiful one two his hair gets big y'all i'm using the leave-in um conditioner by erica j by the way this is very lightweight you know how some con leave-in conditioners they have your hair feeling real greasy and heavy you don't get that with this conditioner so just go ahead and buy it and you will see what i'm talking about but back to the hair this hair was beautiful y'all but i don't want to send y'all off because my initial like when I was emailing the company and whatnot, I asked them for some deep wave hair, right? So they sent me the link to the deep wave hair. Now, when I'm ready to upload the video and they send me like everything for the description box, they sent me a link to some fucking water wave hair. But this definitely looks like deep wave to me. But I don't know if they trying to like, you know, I don't know if they trying to advertise the water wave. And, but that's just very misleading. And it doesn't help that the pictures they use are not their pictures. And I always despise certain companies for that. Because it's like, one, you probably don't have permission to use that picture. And then two, it's just like, I want to see the actual product itself. I don't want to see different variations of a different wig. Because that's all they be doing. They be posting pictures from like these real cute Instagram girls with the real curly cute hair. And you get the wig and it don't be looking like that. Now, luckily, this wig did look like some of the pictures. But still, I want to see the actual product. Don't be misleading me and none of that stuff. So, yeah, I can't even tell y'all if this is Deep Wave or Water Wave. But I'm going to just go with this is the Deep Wave because that's what we initially talked about. But this is their Deep Wave 20-inch hair. It's really cute. It did stink a little bit, but I washed it. It's such a cute install. It's definitely giving, like, vacay vibes. Ugh, me on a beach in Miami vibes. Ugh, I can't wait. Okay, yeah. But yeah, um, let me get up out of here because my house be loud as hell all the time. My mama just started playing her music in the background, so I just gotta wrap this up. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I fucks with you. And obviously, you fuck with me, so hit the like button. Comment down below what you think about my crazy-ass baby hair. Some of y'all not gonna like it, but oh well. Um, And yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Why are you still here? Not subscribing? What's going on? Why are you watching me? That's weird. But nah, for real, for real. Subscribe to my channel if you fucking with me for real. Because, um, yeah, I fucks with y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, posting all this content. Giving y'all content. Great content. So, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. And if you want to be extra and take the extra step, hit that notification bell button so that you are aware of when I post. You will never miss a post from Kicks, baby. Okay? But, yeah, that's all I have. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.